Okay, that's a beautiful arrangement of leaves of different shapes and colors. Right? We see leaves every day in all sorts of colors and shapes. But have you ever wondered what makes leaves so special? How many types of leaves are there? How are leaves arranged on stem? What shapes do leaves take? And what's the secret behind leaves' veins? In this video, we'll explore different types of leaves and dive into some of these questions. All right, let's let's take a closer look at the part of the leaves that you might have overlooked before. We see leaves all the times, but have you ever really thought about what's going on there? Let's break it down. So, what are the parts of the leaves? Leaves grow from the nodes on the stem and are usually thin, flat, and green. The wide, spread out part of the leaf that's called the leaf blade or lamina, and those edges they are called the leaf margin. Now, if you look closely, you will notice a main vein running down the middle. That's the mid vein or mid rib. Think of it like a backbone of the leaf with smaller veins branching out to carry water and nutrients. The tip of the leaf is called leaf apex. It can be pointy, rounded, or tapering. In this case, it's tapering, right? Yes. Some leaves have a stalk called petiole that attaches them to the stem, while others skip the stalk and directly attaches the leaf to the stem. The spot where the leaf connect to the stem, that's the leaf base. Oh, and near the leaf base, you see these tiny structures, leaf-like structures. They are called stipules. They are like mini leaves, but not every leaf have them. So there you have it. These are the parts of a leaf that you might not have noticed before, but now you will definitely start paying attention to them. Now you see the margin. You can see the margin here is tooth and tooth shaped, or it's called a dentate margin. There are different types of leaf margin as well. The one you see here is a smooth margin, right? The entirety of the leaf margin is smooth, unlike the first one that you have here on the left side, which is toothed. This one is smooth. And here is another one that is lobed margin. This is a maple leaf, and this is how the margin of the leaf looks like. They have lobes pointing outwards. It's not toothed. It's not smooth. This type is called lobed margin. So that's the different type of leaf margin that you can find in leaves. All right, let's take a look at these two leaves here. What do you notice? On this one, these two, if you take together, you can see a single large blade, right? This is a uh, this large blade or lamina, as it is called, is undivided. This one large undivided blade, and it has a single mid rib or mid vein. Simple, right? And look at these two. What is difference? Here you see instead of a single blade, the leaf is split into smaller smaller parts. So the leaf split into smaller parts called leaflets here. So the one with large undivided blade is called simple leaf, and the one that splits into smaller parts called leaflets are compound leaves. These are the two major types of leaves: simple and compound leaves. All right, now we have looked at the parts of a leaf and different types of leaves, right? Let's see how these leaves are now arranged on a stem. There are few different patterns or different leaf arrangements, and they are pretty interesting. All right, so the first one. is called alternate leaf arrangement and as the name suggests the leaves are arranged alternatively one after the other along the stem look at it simple right examples of these plants are like sunflower rose and mustard yeah next we have this type of arrangement called opposite leaf arrangement again as the name suggests it's pretty straightforward the leaves are arranged opposite to each other or they grow opposite to each other right you will see this in plants like a guava and neem next up we have a unique plant yes this is called a spiral pattern arrangement where the leaves when growing on the stem forms this type of pattern which is spiral pattern right and uh, it's seen in some species some type of aloe vera plant moving on to the next type we have this type looking like the blades of a helicopter right you can see that the leaves are arranged in circular groups yes this type of arrangement is called whorled arrangement or circular group arrangement wild lily is a very good example of this type of arrangement right and finally the decussate opposite arrangement right pretty interesting name and the arrangement is also quite interesting it's like the similar to the opposite leaf arrangement but the difference is that they 
the each pair of leaf is arranged at a 90 degree angle to the pair above it. You, do you see that? Yes, you can see this in Tulsi plant. So these are the different ways leaves can be arranged on a stem. Each pattern is unique and now you know what to look for, right? Next time when you step out, just find out what type of arrangement the leaves have made on the stem. All right, now let's uncover the secret behind leaf veins. What is the secret behind leaf veins? Take a look at this leaf here. You can see that it is divided into two equal parts by a single mid vein that runs along the midline of the leaf blade, right? Yes, and from the mid vein, smaller secondary veins arise and branch out and form a network almost like a web. This pattern is called Renticulate Venation. Now check out this one. All the veins are running parallel to each other like a neatly drawn line. This type of vein pattern is called Parallel Venation. So these are the two common types of leaf venation you will find in plants, Reticulate and Parallel. Now let's talk about the shapes leaves can take and why they have these shapes. The first one here is rounded like a mango leaf. This shape is super common, right? It's probably the first thing that you think of when you imagine a leaf. Next up, we have palmate. Yes, this one. It's a maple leaf that you're seeing here. They look like hand with fingers spread out. Yes, they are distinct type of leaves. Then you have the next type that is lanceolate shape. These leaves are long and narrow and these are seen in snake plants. We also have one more type that is called the linear type which are even thinner and straighter. You will see this in plants like rosemary and lavender. But why do leaves take different shapes? Why not just stick to one? Well, it likely comes down to environmental factors and evolutionary history. Environmental factors like sunlight, water and nutrient availability. Different shapes have adapted to different conditions over time. So these are some of the shapes leaves can take and the reasons behind their variety. Isn't it really fascinating how the nature works?